right, folks, this is Pay-Per-Click Nick here, and I'm going to work through a process that I use to improve things. You might have heard of this process. It's the uh, um, I learned about this through Six Sigma, and it's called the Nemaic process, D-M-A-I-C. It works really well. Um, you, you analytical people out there will really enjoy this. If you like numbers and testing things and figuring out why stuff's working and coming up with solutions based on the data, then this is for you. Uh, if it's not for you, you need to be using it, so you need to show it to someone on your team uh, if you're not the analytical type. But I am, so I really like it, so I will describe it to you. The first step of the process, on the, so this, is, this you can use for almost anything, but it works really well for uh, conveyor belt type manufacturing and ideas. I've seen a lot of uh, results with this to improve the quality control. It's great for improving a process, especially if you have numbers to back up your tests. So ad campaigns can uh, benefit really well with this. So let's start with the D here. So if we were to uh, look at this system, you're going to take something that you set up. So let's say uh, a pay-per-click ad and you're using different keywords, you're using different bid prices, you've got different landing pages, you've got different calls to action. The first step is to figure out what you're testing. What is important? What do you need to learn more about? Or if you're getting conversions, you know, is that the, the be, it, be it end all metric and, and uh, is, is that what you really want to test? You know, okay, so let's say it is conversions, you want to get as many sales or opt-ins as you can on your website, uh, the next step is going to be to measure that. So uh, you're going to use, you know, an opt-in rate, a conversion rate to figure out how many people uh, that you're, so first you're, you're, you know, you're plugging people into your sales funnel, you're getting traffic, how many of them complete the goal in Google Analytics or complete the conversion in Google AdWords. So how are you doing with that number? Is your conversion rate 25%? Is it 0.025%? And can you improve on that? Is that something you want to improve on? So, okay, if you want to improve on it, then you have to keep track of the number. You have to know the number and you have to look, on it, look at that number on a regular basis to figure out how you're doing and to figure out what's improving that number. So if, if it's not the number is not where you want it to be, then you need to figure out why. So what so look at the process and see where the disconnect is. See, you know, where is the click through rate lowest or where is the conversion rate the lowest and what can we improve or test? So what is wrong? Really ask yourself that and that process is probably going to be five questions to figure out the answer and when you figure out the answer, you still have to test it. So if you think that the uh, there's not enough keyword negative keywords, let's say you're getting a really uh, a low click through rate and you're having a lot of impressions, uh, but but uh, some of your keywords are bringing up search queries that include words you know are not successful. So you need to add more negative keywords. And if you think that's the problem with your campaign, okay, well, well what's the next step? You need to improve it. So what needs to be done, we just figured out, okay, we need to add some more negative keywords based on the data and the measurements and the analytics. Looking at the big picture here, let's improve the, the negative keywords and add more negative keywords and make sure we have the right negative keywords. And then, so now that you know to improve it, what step you're working on as a part of the process, you implement the, the change here, and then the next step is to control it. So after you make that change, look at the data before, look at the data after. Uh, with conversion optimization for websites and campaigns, usually it's beneficial to do one change at a time and measure that change against uh, maybe like this, the results, the same results from last year or from last month. Um, if you can have a control group, it works really well. So send 50% of your traffic to the old campaign or the old landing page send 50% of your traffic to the new one and really see if it made an impact on your conversion rates. So to make sure that the, the, the implementation and the improvement that you did, you have to make sure that you're measuring it in the correct way that you can tell if it was successful. Okay. 
So very important. You can't. It's it's bad. Really bad practice just to implement something and then get it in into the process. You great. So you got some more some more ads. Great. You got some more keywords. But did it actually make a difference? Was that work worth the effort? Did it did it hit the mark? If if you missed the mark, then you got to go back. Okay. So we missed it. Again, what's important? And you go through this cycle again and again and again, and you're going to get to a point. And and I ideally, us over analytics you, people know that there's always room for improvement. But you're going to get to a point where you're statistically, you know, cutting out all of the imperfections, and you're statistically constantly measuring to get the most perfect ad and the most perfect keyword and the most perfect billboard and the best results. So. Uh, it's a continual process of improvement, also known as Kaizen. Look that up. Yeah, happy to help and uh, teach some things here. So this is a very helpful process. Again, the DMAIC process, D-M-A-I-C, uh, taught by Six Sigma and uh, myself, since I just taught it to you. So use it wisely. Um, don't get stuck in just one area. Oftentimes, that's what happens to people is they keep you know, paralysis through over analysis, you know, they keep looking at one step as part of the piece and just, oh, I just, I'm just going to look at all the numbers every day. I'm just going to look at all these numbers and I'm going to figure it all out. Well, if you didn't implement something and control it to see if it did work, you're not really going to make much ground. You're going to be, you know, you're great. You, you know your numbers, but are you making improvements? So, Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. And if you haven't watched my other videos, yeah, I think they're going to be really, if you found this helpful, go ahead and subscribe and watch the other ones. Thanks a lot.